I have always been fascinated by artificial intelligence and in this video I'm going to show you how there's a free API that will show you how to detect your face expression. I'm doing this in Animate CC and we're working on a canvas with HTML5. It all started when I in my YouTube feed saw uh, this guy uh, showing this video how to program in JavaScript where it detects his face and uh, also his emotions. There you can see it also has this drawn the, the face there on his the feed from his webcam. I thought that was very interesting. I wanted to do the same thing and I said and I did actually using Visual Studio Code and I do like Visual Studio Code as he's using over here. Um, the debugger is fantastic and the the add-ons that you can add to make your code even better and look brighter and better and help you coding is fantastic. But um, I'm not a programmer and I'm not a graphic designer but I did miss all these things over here that I use all the time in order to draw. I'm a visual kind of guy, I like to play with the colors so I wanted to show you how to do what he did here but I'm doing it in Animate CC. Um, yes, let me show you how uh, it works. I have the code here ready for us, but let me show you how it looks. If I start the browser here, you can see that um, there are several, not many things here, but there is a text up here where uh, the AI will show us the emotion and the how certain it is that it is that emotion and you can see that I also have my face recognized as an emotion. And then I have the video feed down here from my webcam and then I have a button over here and if I uh, click that it will end the feed and I get a snapshot. Yeah, let's see how that looks in Animate CC. Let's have a look at the code. So um, I have uh, three um, variables here. I have a container. I always have a container where I put my graphics. Um, then I have a face field. This is a text field that you saw at the top. And then I have a video element. This is my uh, the feed from my video cam. And then I have these um, icons here that uh, it will give me the icon. If it is hidden it will give me this Smiley face with the sunglasses on. If it's neutral, give me this and happy and so forth. So in it is the starting function, and I run this by at the bottom there. First, I have a container. I use CreateJS quite a lot. If you don't know this library, it's fantastic. I put a container on the stage and I add it to the stage. And then I have my face field, which is again I use CreateJS. I have a text field and it just says detect emotion with Arial and six picks. Sometimes I would use, or no, most of the time, I would use a, a movie clip from over here and put it on the stage. But I add this face field to the container and on this position, X and Y position. Then I have a video element. And from this video element here I'm using, so here we have, in we're in, in uh, in, in JavaScript. So on the document I have a create element, I'm creating a video with and with this height and this width. And then I append the video element to the document. So, uh, and this works fine, but I wanted to get, I wanted to use it in CreateJS where I can manipulate it. So I have a DOM element here and again I use CreateJS taking the video element and making a DOM element and then I add child this DOM element that I created up there to my container. And now I can manipulate it with any, any way I want with using CreateJS. Um, here are X and Y, I put it in this position. And here's a button. It's the general button I have over here. Nothing's, nothing's fancy. It's just a 
white graphic and a dynamics text with button inside. So um, I put it on the stage here in our in the container, this general button underscore, which is the linkage name from over there, on this position, and then I have the text to the button. Normally it just says inside, but I have button underscore text inside. Take photo, and then I have an event listener that I add to the button, and if I click the button, it will fire this function snapshot. Now, this, the API uh, face detection there, it needs uh, it needs more, well, it needs data in order to work, but it also needs uh, rules that it has to work with. And this is where I, here I have load models, where it fires this function here, loads models. I have it working as an asynchronous model, a uh, sorry, function. And that just means that the, the code will continue to run, but the uh, this will run in a separate line over, over, <laughs> over here, so to speak. So we are in an asynchronous function, we're using, uh, loading these models. Uh, so we have the await, uh, it will load these three models here. And these are, I downloaded from um, GitHub, I think it was, if you, um, search for face API. Uh, it's quite easy to find them and I have them in a um, folder here under models. And when they those three uh, rules are loaded then we'll start this start video function down here. So start video and um, this is just something that I more or less copied from uh, the guy that I showed that at the beginning um, or somewhere else actually I forgot <laughs> so we're having this video here with it, it wants to show us the video get user media is or media devices dot get user media is now the code that we need to use in order to um, get video from your uh, webcam so no audio and then I'm making a stream here and an anonymous function here fire and if I have some something in my data there I want to play my video element and then I want to fire this function detect face if something happened I want to see that and I have catch error and it will alert you have to enable the camera this is typically what happens when users have is blocked the camera. Then detect face. Um, so again, I have an an asynchronous function that was, and so this will uh, continue to run every three hundred milliseconds. So set interval, fire this function every three hundred milliseconds. So we're, that is there at the end every 300 milliseconds this function will fire. So uh, first it will get, uh, we have something called a detection and this will uh, get all the um, data from our webcam here, our video element. And if something in our detection has a length like greater than zero then I know that something was picked up, a face was detected and then I go go through all the elements that was detected here. So uh, yeah, running through here for each of the elements running through and then I get um, the um, where is it value status here is how certain the AI is of the um, of the uh, expression and the expression here is the, uh, the the key that I call the status. So uh, happy or sad or whatever. Um, and this will give you the the value status will give you a number between zero and one with I don't know twenty decimals or something. I don't want to see that. Uh, so I have just I wanted to see in this answer to two decimal place. So it takes value status and one two decimal place. 
and this I put in my face field, the text here, the, the status, which was the if I'm neutral, happy or sad. And then I have the answer, how certain the AR is of this status. And then I have the status icon, which is something that it picks up from over here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And if if nothing was, if I put my hand up in front of my face, it will not de detect a face. So if it cannot detect any faces, it in the face field, in my text field there, it will just say no face and it will get a status icon of hidden. So it will give me these the smiley faces with the sunglasses there. And then I have a the, the button there at the, uh, I made here a small pick here from my uh, from my video element here and I uh, put this in the document and again I use create.js the DOM create.js DOM element to take this small pick and put it on the container and now can I manipulate it any way I want um, so when uh, that was the add event listener that, that fired this snapshot down here so we'll pick a, a downscaled version of of uh, of uh, what's in the, uh, on the in the video element and then it will cut um, the feed to the uh, to the to the webcam I know this was a uh, more or less an overview I don't go into depth and explain all the steps that's happening everywhere but you can uh, go online oh I need to say that of course I need to load here uh, the face API uh, JS which is also in my folder or oh, this will not run of course so uh, uh, this is more or less an overview over how this works I'm going to have so much fun with this um, so we're, it can also work in animate CC yeah